war is the mother of machine gun development. This is a Vickers machine gun, a medium machine gun. It's water cooled. Uh, this particular specimen is chambered for the 303 British cartridge, although this gun has been chambered for many cartridges through its long lifespan, including most recently in 762 NATO, <clears throat> when it was employed by the South African Defense Force. In fact, uh, this gun is painted uh, in the colors used in, in South Africa. However, more significantly, it's a classic example of the type of machine gun that was employed and that dominated the trench warfare of World War I, since that's from whence it dates. This is the model 1912. It is uh, water-cooled, belt-fed from the right side, and recoil-operated. Here we see a fold-down anti-aircraft sight, uh, and here is a dial sight. The significance of the dial sight is <clears throat> that it was used basically for indirect fire, that is to say firing from defilade, uh, and it dates back to the days when machine gunnery was, was a science uh, closely associated with and actually coming out of artillery. To load the weapon, you take the, uh, the tab on the cloth cotton belt, insert it into the feed block, pull it firmly over as far as it will go, take the cocking handle, and pull the cocking handle while at the same time pulling on the belt, thusly. That has pulled a cartridge from the belt and placed it in the position for feeding into the chamber so that we must cock it one more time to actually drive a round into the chamber. The gun is now loaded and ready to fire.